says the Cavs and Celtics have until Wednesday to agree to the Kyrie Irving Isaiah Thomas blockbuster trade that's hit a snag due to Cleveland's concerns about IT's hip. The deadline to report and submit to a physical for the players involved in the trade is 10 a.m. Eastern time on Wednesday. The deadline to pass the physical is 10 a.m. Eastern time on Thursday per league rules, although both teams can mutually agree to extend the deadline. So the Cavs are trying to hit up Boston for another asset or assets. So far, the Celtics reportedly are reluctant to sweeten the deal. Should the Cavs, should the Celtics amend said deal, Jamel? Who blinks first here? No, they shouldn't amend the deal at all. I'm wondering if this is one of those situations where both of them have gone so far down this road that neither one of them can afford to turn back, as in who has more pressure to make this deal. I think they both do in their own unique ways. Given what the fan reaction was to Isaiah Thomas being traded, a lot of fans were really upset, and especially with everything he gave them last season, obviously the tragic passing of his sister, to trade that kind of guy and try to bring him back, that's just awkward for everybody, much like it would be on the other side with LeBron James and, and Kyrie Irving. They've both gone too far. Make the deal. I don't think there's equal incentive to consummate this trade. And I'm the same person that said that the Cavs didn't have to do anything this year, right. given Kyrie Irving has two years and then an option on his deal. They could bring him back, make him be a big boy and get along nicely with LeBron James and then revisit if and when LeBron walks next year and trade Kyrie with one year and an option left on his contract. That said, Cleveland had better call up. Dan Kobe Altman did a great job with this trade. You call up Danny Ainge and you assume that Chris Rock told, hey, excuse me, <laughs> I was uh, wondering eh, if right. you would be willing to part with uh, a couple of second round picks. Right. Or maybe one of your first round picks. For sure, not Memphis's or the or the uh, the Clippers' first round picks. And for damn sure, not the Lakers' Kings' Sixers pick. No. Because they're not going to get anything else. That, Better than that that's Brooklyn even close pick. To this. And Jay Crowder. Right. Okay, so Isaiah Thomas, you're the Cavaliers. You could take Isaiah Thomas in the second half. Plus, you knew you were getting, with all due respect, damaged goods. Mm -hmm. You could take him in the second half of the season for the stretch run and, and, and make do while he's on the men. But there is no way that you sit up here and mess around with this Brooklyn pick that's got you so set up for the long term and the short term if you want to flip him for a star under the guise of being greedy and trying to get something out of him. If, you, if you're the Celtics, you're like, yo, man, y'all knew what y'all were getting when y'all made this trade. Go out and find something better. We'll wait. Yeah.